What's up guys, Rand Rebrisa here with another tech video for you guys today. And today, I bring you guys a quick in-depth review of the BoxWave keyboard buddy case for the iPad mini. This case was sent for views, as always, I'd like to thank BoxWave for shooting me one of the amazing products for review. And of course, without further ado, let's slice this thing open, slap it on the iPad mini, and give you guys my full in-depth review. So taking a closer look at the Boxway Keyboard Buddy case here, as the title says, is it, it does have a built-in keyboard in the case itself. Now the entire case is a folio style case, so your iPad will slip into this area here. Let's we'll just take the foam thing out. So you can type and have the ability to stand up to a case as well to enjoy a better uh, kind of laptop style experience. The keyboard section here is detachable, so if you don't like having to work with your iPad this close, you can actually remove it, still have your iPad in the stand, and just type this on your lap or you know wherever it's more convenient. So to install the case is very simple, just grab the case itself, pop them in the uh, right or left flap here, slide your iPad mini in, and the interior of this case is made of this kind of very soft suede material, so it'll protect your iPad from scratches when you're sliding it in. So here's what the uh, case looks like with the actual iPad mini in there, you guys can see the keyboard can be easily attached as I showed you guys earlier, so you can actually use this case without the keyboard and just use it as a standard folio case. The keyboard itself is held in place via four magnets, so it just sticks in like so, and of course you just close it. And of course, like many folio style cases, the auto unlock and lock feature is standard on this case. Tuck in the flap here for extra security. It's a little bit finicky to get in, but once you've done that, it's nice and secure and you're pretty much good to go. In terms of material, the entire case is made of kind of this full leather material, which looks pretty nice, has a very nice soft feel to it as well. You got stitching all the way around the borders here, uh, just for added aesthetics as well as to keep the material into place. Um, same with the keyboard here. Cool thing about this keyboard has the same uh, full leather material all the way around it as well, which adds comfort and of course matches the case itself. Taking a quick overview of the case, you guys can already see here there's a little flap here to secure the uh, flap portion and the keyboard in place so it doesn't fall out or anything like that. There's also a little pop out flap here so when you want to type on your uh, with the case on you can stand this on a particular angle. There's also a cuddle here for the camera as well. Three cutouts on the top here for the headphone jack, microphone as well as the power button. Cut out for the volume keys as well as the mute slash orientation switch. And of course a single large cut out for the speakers as well as the lightning port. And of course the case itself lines the entire border of the iPad mini with two cut outs for the face line camera as well as the home button here. Alright so to connect the keyboard to the iPad it's pretty simple. It does use Bluetooth technology so it's pretty simple to sync up wirelessly. Just go to settings, Bluetooth, and turn it on. Turn on the keyboard as well. Hit the Bluetooth button. And a blue light will shine to denote that it is uh, on. And it should pick up very soon, it does take a few seconds. And of course the Bluetooth keyboard will pop up, just hit that. And it's going to ask you to type in four numbers on your uh, keyboard, so hit 7, minus 7, 9, 2, 0, then you hit the enter button. And it should pair up, so now it's connected. So we're pretty much good to go with the keyboard here now. Alright, so in terms of the typing experience on this keyboard, this is actually my first kind of miniature style keyboard. If you're wondering in comparison, here is the uh, Apple uh, wireless keyboard here. So you guys can already tell that keys are slightly, uh, not really slightly, but significantly smaller than your standard full size keyboard. Um, so in terms of typing on this, like many keyboards, you know, it takes a few days to get used to. This is my first time typing on this, but uh, let's just type up uh, my intro. What's up guys? So overall, the typing experience is uh, pretty good. Um, I'd probably get used to it after using it for a few days, but um, it's not a bad keyboard. Again, this is my first miniature style keyboard I've used, uh, so it's a little bit, uh, feels kind of a bit weird, but again, like anything, you do get used to it. But um, yeah, typing's not too bad. The keyboard itself also has a few other features, such as the home button here. So you can hit that, it'll go to the you home. Have brightness control, pretty cool. You have volume control as well, pretty cool. You have uh, playback keys. Um, you also have, I think that was the slideshow button I hit, but this one here is supposed to be the keyboard button, which I'm not sure why it's working. That's your slideshow button, so if you want to play a slideshow of your pictures on your iPad, that's what it works out to. Um, you also have a magnifying thing here, not sure what that does. Oh, it takes you to the uh, search uh, function on your iPad, so that's what that thing does. And we also have a lock button as well. So yeah, some uh, standard keyboard with uh, iPad controls, which is actually a pretty cool additional feature. The keyboard itself is rechargeable, so you just plug in your micro USB cable, which is included with this, and just plug it into your computer, and your keyboard will recharge, so you don't have to replace any batteries or anything like that. Overall, my first impressions on the BoxWave keyboard body case is pretty positive. 
It offers a portable design with a detachable keyboard if you don't want to use it to make it a more slimmer design to enjoy your iPad in a simple folio style case. In addition, because the keyboard is detachable and uses Bluetooth, you can use your keyboard on your lap and set your iPad on a desk so you're not constrained just to the keyboard on the case itself. In terms of any changes or downsides or things I don't like about the case itself, the case, because it is a keyboard style case, it does add a bit of bulk to the iPad Mini. Not only with the folio style case, but in addition with the keyboard, it does add quite a bit of thickness to it, not a whole lot, but because it is the iPad Mini, it's a pretty compact design that box I've impl implemented um, into this keyboard uh, style case. Again, you can also remove the keyboard itself, so you can just use the iPad Mini without it, and of course that pretty much decreases the uh, thickness of it quite uh, significantly. Anyways. The only change I really make with this particular case is mainly this little flap here. You do need to use this to ensure that the you know keyboard and iPad doesn't fly open or anything like that. But this flap does feel a little bit finicky to tuck underneath here. So the other thing I consider is maybe using a magnetic enclosure to keep the entire case together rather than using this flap function here. In conclusion guys, for those of you looking for a keyboard style case for iPad Mini, you definitely can't go wrong with Boxer's keyboard buddy case. It's a stylish yet versatile case that offers a lot of functionality and features to ensure that you're satisfied with using a keyboard with your iPad mini. Retailing at $59.95 on Boxway's website, it does seem a little expensive for a case for your iPad mini, but when you consider other keyboard style cases for the iPad or the iPad mini, they're pretty expensive for what they are, so this is pretty on average for what's available for the iPad mini. Nonetheless, for the functionality and features that you do get with this case, I definitely say it's well worth the price for those of you looking for an external keyboard. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course if you guys have any questions or comments, ask away down in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as it always helps me out, and of course I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!